to wait and see how it looks for them today. Doritex, second time is always a little bit better. We're getting curious, and he's been, he's dead. He's very dead. That's fast, happily gonna take him away. Sheriff in his hands, always scary. Again for Aspas, looking to see him activate here. Another great map for him. And that head-to-head -head with Mini Boo is something going to be on our forefront of our minds. Oh, a little bit of a re-swing. Okay, nice Benji. from Benji. Aspas, okay, Benji. Benji. Relax, Benji. He's given them a chance, and it's now a 2v2. The spam nearly caught Aspas in the heels. Pause. Slow it down. 40 seconds. They've got time to play with it. Aspas, he's already getting over towards B. I was going to develop a little bit. Aspas down to only 10 HP. So yes, he'll get that spike planted. But it's all on King and his positioning here. How is he going to deal with the rotation from Team Heretics? They're going to move together. Dart's going to come off cooldown before they go for this retake. The HP is there for the side of Team Heretics. But Sheriffs purchased up for Team Leviathan. And only 100 HP on these players. So yeah. it's two body shots. Oh, this is important. First. Spots one. Spot made. Standing ahead. And it's actually Aspas that was the one that planted the spike, yeah. and he makes his way the world. around the world. But no splash damage to be able to get on that spike. This is sick, though. They don't expect it. The timing is so good for Aspas. If he can just check on the spike, that's a great shot. That's a perfect follow up for King. Aspas willing. Genuinely a joy to watch. But for now, <laughs> it's going to be Tex. Quick on the trigger to find Benji, and a very quick rotation. It's all on Boo Not here at the back of the site. Dart on calm though. It's gonna catch him, force him out of the position. He needs to back away. He needs to value his life. Four versus five is winnable. That spike's gonna get planted. He cannot stop it. Not with that cove up. Nah, nothing to be done about it. It's actually text to connect. This bonus looking like pretty much on the money here. They're in the post plant. They've got all the bodies here. And Aspas leading the charge again. Finally put to bed by Boo, but it's Rienz and Boo to try and clear all of this space. They've got a util for the post plant. Tex and create a fortress around him by yellow. And this outlaw already been spot on. I think a tag there yet. Rienz is barely breathing. Boo's trying to do some work, but it's Tex. Folding this down. Beautiful from Tex. Can't progress further than this. And again, yeah, they can't rotate. They're, they're still holding players here. That's nice from Boo, but one's all you're going to get. A big trade from Aspas, and Tex just hunting. He's out and about looking for any potential victims, but they've somewhat passed by already. Up towards Kitchen as a plant comes in from a Xeno. Oh, Mini Boo, just a shot in the dark. Fine. Yeah, straight up blind. The Dizzy Flash going to be in play. Aspas got to be cautious, forced to fall away. 30 seconds. Suddenly, we're in a little bit of trouble here, and he's got no way out of this safely. But where does the spike go? Looking to alleviate some of the pressure. Tex is unleashed in middle, but there's util to hold him back. But he's trying to be a problem, be a nuisance. They've got bodies on the site still. Aspas down to 57. Trying to take point for his side. It's not clean enough for Tex, but he's turning attention. 10 seconds now, they've got to get a kill, and they do. Aspas creates safety, but there's danger above as Rienz could be the disaster. Oh. Waiting to strike for Aspas. The perfect bodyguard, but time is going to be tight. They got the spike so no close, way. but not close enough. Tim found. Not going to get the fight he wants, and Heretics peel away. Uh. Oh. Okay, Rienz. You gotta back yourself in some fights, I guess, but that one. Swatted like a fly. You should run. Uh, King's still on the side though, and Heretic's getting closer now. I'm trying to hold the line though. King delivers two bodies, puts him to bed, come from up on top. Nice little spray, and he gets it done. Lev instantly correct. We take those, kind of always postured for Heretic's in that aspect. I also the text. Yeah, text though, trying to catch that rotation. Perfect. Big delivery on towards Boot. Can they finish with a flourish? Keep this clean. Five still alive for Lev. Wu trying to maybe lead the way. Forge them forward. Big Rienz kills. back to back, but it's come on top. Two kills. Aspas still holds. And it's all on Wu in a 1v2. Problems left and right, and they're going to know where he is. He might be just dead to rights here. He seems to have lost track of where they are, but Tex never did. Lev. In the round, 50 seconds now for Lev to be able to close out this round. Three players for Team Heretics. On the defense. Gonna take the contact. There should have been a trade on that. How is that disjointed? I thought that was on the absolute money. I thought they had it right. But apparently we were wrong all along. And now a 3v2. Couple of ults though here for Heretics. And they're cautious. You can see it with Lev taking their time. Plant's gonna come in. 
And once again, you look at this post plant. King's got util, as has Tex, and Aspax can just take point. He can just hold this. Ooh, the timing. Okay, 2v2. Maybe. With the lockdown, this could be enough. But do they play forward? Do they fall back? Looks like forward is the answer for now. Tex getting interested, getting hungry, wants the kill. He finds the pointier end of a stick. Benji! And Aspas, I kind of fancy his odds. All goes up, though, and a couple more question marks. But Lev keeping control, trying to stay composed under all the chaos. But it's Wood to fall and King to deliver. Mazzino now holding that side, making sure they can't counter push. But it's caught from on top to find two. But Benji again, the one to try and keep them in this. But where do you put your money now? Boo up against Com. Spike is loose, 50 seconds, he plays ahead of it. Com, good intuition, but a better shot from Boo. They go and they get that plant. There's on the Fury. Get stalled Denial. out. Yeah, and now a pre-take towards the site. This is nice, really well timed. And he picks him off. That's perfect from Rians. And I've got to say, credit to Wu and Miniboo for hitting that as the second that the Hunter's Fury came down. They're starting to get the tempo of this game. Finger on the pulse here, but the dangerous three still stand. Aspas, Tex, and King. Miniboo getting curious. Oh, big punish. Good trade as well. Great spacing. But it is Aspas. And he always deserves a moment of respect here. Spike is left out of hand. Is there a way to divide? Oh, oh. And he's starting to conquer! Ten seconds! Bob's the old! A quick turn! Ten he knows where he is! Spike. Seven seconds to Who play with. Have? What does Boo do? He clutched before, and he's done it again! A killjoy diff at middle there. Boo, valuing his life, sees this orb. Oh. And a spam kill for him. That's so nice, just catching a second of King, he's trying to get towards yellow, but the plant's going to be coming through. Can he deny it? That's actually going to sting a little on Com there. Does get away. Aspas gets detained. Boots on the way. Boo's going to find him, and now suddenly the downer two. Com and Mazzino suddenly with a wake-up call. This game ain't so easy. And Mini oh, Boo, I feel like he's kind of overcooked that a little bit, but luckily for him, it's only going to be Com in a 1v5. The defuse is happening, and Mini Boo's toying with his dinner. Com tries to stand, but will fall. And now we have a game on our yeah, Looks like they're trying to get that spike planted on that wingman. And Com is completely outdone. Three. Heretics, very clean there, actually. I thought they might have been a little bit dissuaded by the harbor wall coming through, but no, very well calculated on the way in. And now down to Aspas and King. They were the ones who were split quite far away. And Heretic's not moving away from the site. Hard for any of the util to really force One them away smoke. anyway. I don't think Aspas saw the... Pixels crossing through for Mini Boot. Ah, this is so difficult. It's just going to need belting shots, really, and no one's giving him a fight. First one does go down, time. that's Mini Boo, but you're right, time is of the essence. Spots out Boo, but they don't know about the other three. This is so uphill, so arduous to try and turn around. Great work from Heretics, Josh. Does find him. Time to fall off. He actually tries to go back in, and the timing's just perfect. Spacing. And the patience pays. Oh, he even gets a second. Nice work from Tex to keep Huge. calm there. But Heretics righting the ship. Until then, Mazzino makes his stand on the site. Death from above with King. And suddenly, Benji in a 1v2 for 30 seconds. 30 seconds and I told you left. once before about this guy. And I'll tell you it again. If he stands, there's always a chance. But does he predict Mazzino's reposition? Benji thinks he's still back site, but took the rope across silently. No idea. But when does he consider it? When does he, he's got to think about it at some point. The timing is everything. 13 seconds. Mazzino's reposition was heaven sent. Lev. Hello. Oh. He's going to hear that. Benji hears everything. Yeah, but Boo's found his man. And now with the Killjoy going down, he's got free reign. Aspas aware, but he still dies. And now Benji can be a nuisance. He goes down. He could have played his life a little more there. Cost them some time. But no, the plants could be coming in for heretics. And now they can sit in the deeper post plant. Boo still with the molly here for this post plant. Com, he's got the rifle. No cove, just the oh, cascade. Difficult. Very difficult for them She's to get this done. And they are going to come back through that to secure at least to the first attempt. There's no half achieved here, of course, they know that. So time going to run low. Now you can see the layering of utility. They have to respect the timing and they're trying to maybe disrupt that back line. And Mini Boo's having none of it. It's clean work in the end from Heretics. Three alive, and they handle the threats. Lev, here's a change. As fast the timing. Did he, he didn't get seen. He, they have no idea, but it doesn't they seem... Know, they oh, know, now, Yeah, they absolutely... You're right! Oh, he ends the one to punish. And left looking almost silly here. And it's bizarre to me. 
It's not something we know that is, we know that heretics don't lean towards this map. We know that Lev have had this in their map pool towards the top end. But right here, right now, we are seeing heretics poised to take the lead. We question the form of Leviathan throughout this, I guess, tournament to an extent. We question heretics towards the end of the online portion, qualifying to this, looking in slump potentially. But now, as it stands, they're in form. But still, eight apiece. Tex in the right place. It's a good gamble read from Lev. They have that crossfire, but Tex oh re-aggressing because they have the numbers. This is going to be a huge play or a big blunder. Feast or famine moment for Tex, and it's famine. Woot finds him instantly. There was a chance there. If things didn't go his way, and they don't, Mazzino tries to make something out of nothing, but Heretic's taking the lead. But already. We're trying to disrespect that, at least with the Dizzy. You see no the pair. stuns coming in. They've got the sight. Yeah, we're going to have the Hunter's Fury coming on towards this as well. Kong going to just swing on in, but Heretics holding this sight well. Mazzino has to respect the ult at the very least, Viper's but there's pit. three players to try and handle, and they're not getting what they need. King and Aspas. Ult with Aspas. Rifle with King. But the ult on the sight makes it hard to connect for Aspas. He doesn't get fair fights. Normally, he doesn't need them. Right now, he's being given nothing. They're not playing to his song by any means. And Heretics might have just teed up 11 here. Aspas, another step closer, but a victim found, but a good trade. Boo, keeping those numbers favorable, and King gonna be forced back to heal as 11 rounds is gonna be carved to the board here. And I think a lot of us doubted this map, and rightly so. Off of statistics, off of history, out of anything we know about this. Lev, do they push through with it, or do they back off as soon as they get spotted here? Woot. Oh, they're so ready! They're ready for the aggression last round. They're ready for it again. The only thing that went their way was King finding Boo. That's it. But the site falling into the hands of heretics. Out of charges. Boo taking so much space here, making sure that plant will be secure. Spike planted. Cove still available for this defuse. So much ability for yes. Team Heretics right now. Oh, yeah. And here comes the thrash. Oh, the oh Asma slips by. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, he just didn't get the impact that he wanted, but maybe a chance made here. 2v2, and Mazzino hungry for the kill, leaving Rienz in a 1v2. Diffuse already started, he's been dealt with, finally! Last round, we saw Tex in this sort of position being forced off by that Dizzy. This time an easier evacuation for Aspas, but a lovely reaggress taking the space play maze. Oh my god, wait, heretics are fighting back, and Miniboo trying to I don't know, trailblaze his way through the site itself, but Lev finally standing together, but Benji... Yeah, run, Mazzino, because that would have been a 1v1 and it would have been untradeable. And now the timing is right. Leviathan reminding us who they are. Oh, okay, he's still alive. He might pop his pit as well. Caught by the Dizzy, but he gets back to safety. There's the push, though. Straight up middle, that is going to cut off any support. So it's on Mazzino. It's on King. They're on an island, and the support is uh, still pretty far away. Benji, they're just on the other side of this pit here. King, he's waiting. And says hello, Benji, carving through them like a hot knife through butter. Heretics taking over the site as Aspas and Tex finally make it back through towards B. But by now, the site's under full control. Heretic showing off here. Benji's timing was fantastic through middle there. Lovely work. Economy very low, but they could still afford another buy. Lev looking for an opening into this round to see if they can go for this. Here come all the set pieces from the attackers. That Viper wall can isolate them, but Tex needs this to go time, big. He found a pocket to play in, and he can only punish one. A good trade, a two for one. Heretic's going to be happy with that. Com is still backside. The Lurk is on the way. Closing the gap now. They are surrounded here, Heretics. Players left and right, but Com needs to show presence, and he does. Takes away Rienz, and there, striking from the back lines is Aspas. Good trade for Benji. They don't know about King, and this guy is ice cold. Takes away Benji, leaving it all down to Woot. Can he find a fair fight? He's looking for one. Doesn't spot King here. Oh, this is wow. a nice reposition. It's audacious from Woot. They don't have... Oh, there we go. He's been seen. Ooh. Calm just snapping up there to it. 
Ooh. Instant Hunter's Fury as well. Calm is so good at this. A blind send on it, but it's Mazzino with two. Rienz does take him down, but it's good numbers for Lev as OT seems like it's on the horizon. Rienz and Boo, though. We've talked a lot about Boo and for the right reasons, but the timing on Calm here could be perfect. Oh, He's got him. Okay, I didn't know if he knows the barrel or not, but he did. Oof. He was lucky there, sitting a little bit deeper to not get caught by that. I have the spike. Rienz. He's had impact before, but a 1v4 here. That's Tall a lot order. to ask, yeah. Quite well, happy to see this go, OT. Give us a real game between these two heavyweights from EMEA and the Americas region. Tex has Rien's contained, though. Yeah, high low. How are you meant to. He, he knows about King. <laughs> Again, so close. He's desperate for a pick, and they're just not giving him much. Nah, if anything, they're giving him nothing. Again, all the utility just being worked through. He's giving it a damn good. Oh my God, go! <laughs> you caught me for a second there, but it will be OT. But they don't know about CT yet. They've got to be aware of it. And I think Rien's going to try and secure this and make sure they know about Tex. But he's buying time. He's costing them this retake here, but oh, Boo wow. and Mini Boo in unison breaking back through. Aspas can't do it all. And Heretic's known for the retakes. Might just take this one back as well. Kong would be in a 1v4, it ain't happening. First in OT for Heretics. Mazzino stepped. Did Benji. Benji notice it? I mean, we're in land. The, the, the audio is different here. It's hard in a live environment and actually rewards across the map for Lev. Middle controlled, A controlled. And they're eyeing up B. Walking into somewhat of the unknown. That harbor wall denying information, vision. And any fights thus far, King. Sitting deep by Snowman. Two towards sight. That's going to be Mazzino and Com. I'm not even sure if the wingman can get into plant, but he's going to walk up all the way. Uh, Dizzy going to go deep here. Don't think that catches Mazzino. No, they're none the wiser. And the second attempt here going to come through with at least Wait. wingman. Hold on, they're clearing through the site. How have they done that? How is it? Oh, OK, King, that's not bad. The timing on that is great, but Tex, Tex could be the downfall of it all. Tex's timing is so good, but it's Rien's. This guy can clutch, but a 1v2 ain't going to be easy against two heavy hitters here. Tex and Aspas, the corner held. He spots one, not the other. And now he sees them both with Aspas. Keeping hope alive here for Lev in map one. But Tex is at the door, and he wants to take this space. He wants that control, and the timing, their Ollie. spacing was on the money. It was perfect before, and it might just be again. Benji with a good trade. Brings it back to a four apiece, but Aspas can only do so much. Time! We're down to 12 seconds. King in control. Going to get the plot. But it's Boo still alive, and he's been clutch as hell. But the Viper's pit is that. Ooh, he's seen both. He's seen both. Boo can't do it this time. King reigns supreme as Lev. The confidence Dino Wayne is now. Lev are on the site. They've made it in time. Full stack. And you've got the rotation coming in. The flanks on the way, and already Benji's gone down. The plant is in place. But it's a 3v4, and they've no idea about Mazzino. Now they do, and they deal with him quickly enough. A 2v3. But Boo's position. Wait. How much can Woot play this in? Do they have anything to clear this space? Oh my god, Aspas. They have no idea! <laughs> Boo strikes! But can he hold back the rest? He'll need help here from Woot. Does he get to reposition? Oh, he got, oh, got scanned! The timing! So perfect! And now Woot in a 1v2. He no can't way. do it! Left bringing them to their knees! A glimpse of what it would be like snatched away. Lev, maintain composure, resilience, and show that pedigree here. It's still alive, though, and there's still four players. Now three, as you can see Mazzino backing away, but they've already got C control. Ooh, Tex, nice try, but still, Sykes says. Between Tex and Benji in that first map of Icebox, the Sentinels trying to overstay their welcome, go down early right now. It's going to be a five versus four post plant for Team Heretics. They love these situations. Rienz has that space waiting for that flank, but it's not coming in. So good setup here. It's going to be mainly through Waterfall, but they have that breach set up. Mazzino at that revolving door to create some sort of pressure, but it's going to be so difficult to break through even with a three prong attack here. Yeah, you can see the kind of Seize stability nade. being found. Seize nade. Didn't get the value they were expecting. The horns very good, though. And that does spur on the Viator. The time though. is ticking. And there's just so many bodies in the way. There's not enough time for Aspas to do this. A valiant attempt. But Heretics hold firm. 
Head coming out from Team Heretics. Some on the site, some off. Taking that space towards Waterfall. Getting in their faces a little bit. And that was helped out there. Wu gets to be played on off this. Asmus with a quick clear on Benji and Tex on the follow-up. It's Boo and Wu to try and dig their heels in. And Wu's position is nasty to deal with, but his HP is low. Down to only 38, but can he buy the time? Forced off the angle, forced to fight, and forced to be cleared. It's Boo now in a 1v2. The Guardian, the guy was clutched before, but this is a lot to ask. A little bit of a high-low here to handle as well. Not enough in the tank this time around, but for a bonus... Fake comes A, and now the pivot comes towards Blue Door. Yep, they're really trying to lean through, but my eyes are still on Aspas. Whoa, big swing. shot! Benji! Make some space here, and the showstopper, if anything, just to puff out the chest by some time plants there. This is a tough retake for Lev. Right now, they can't nice access the blue door. They can't access B. It's just heaven and waterfall. That was a good paranoia, but they aren't swinging off this. That did some, you know, I guess, impact to remove players away from at least holding this, but yeah. time to go for Lev. Not much to set this in motion either. It's dry fights. Very little util. King just going to take a stride forward, but he's and his match on the other side, and Heretic's just holding the line. Com does well to find two, but Rienta's position is a problem. They can't clear it in time, and now Mazzino's options are done for. Time to back away. Heretics have got a third. Paranoia, the smokes. Mazzino, very precarious position here. Tex, his timing is always so good. Just give this guy a sheriff. He's actually outrageously talented with it, and why do I feel like he might get a little bit more here? Oh, oh not bad time, okay. But the lockdown is in play. Be forced to respect that. See Com evacuating. 30 seconds. And left. actually, uh, does King get out? Yeah, he does. He'll be fine. So they're going to be forced to back away from this. Uh, spike, boo, spike, boo, 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 boo. Ah. Uh, he can't get punished in this position. I just sounded like I was a ghost for a couple of seconds there. <laughs> now he's got nightfall. Oh, okay, that's big, but bloody hell, that just got way too close. But all three players, especially from CT, with that nightfall, could be massive, Whipping big here. information. Does he opt to invest it? You still, it's a stinger and a clap. Oh, well, that's a shot and a half. Boo does become a ghost here now as Rienz and Benji get up to try and hold this down. Rifles in hand, yes. And time on their side, but Asbas, beautiful moves, but it doesn't matter. But he's put to bed, but now a 1v2. It's still a game on. Rienz the drop down. He's going, oh, Rienz, you got to run, boy, run. Oh, no. no. Wait, the time. He has it. He has, he has it. it. That is outrageous. Nightfall for the defense side. Oh, but the slip through from Miniboo. Mazzino's a wet, <gasps> but the shot is sharp. They fall for the attack side. And <laughs> from either side, headphones basically out at this point. Rien's the one to find Com, but King still holds. Still controls for now, but he's overwhelmed oh, so and surrounded. Low. So lucky to be alive. The paint shell's there, but it's Miniboo to take him away, leaving Tex and Aspas. Now Aspas taking his time over towards top side. The timing right for Tex. Brings it to a 3v2, it's manageable. But now it's all on Aspas, a 1v2. No plan, no time on their side. The double They're peak. looking for the fight. They get it, nicely done in the end. The crossfire setup, if this stun comes out, it could be perfect and break this attack. Lev is in the perfect place for this. Three of them here, Tech's gonna be revealed though, and Minibu takes his head, Aspas on the trade, tries to fall away. Nice, the Prowler and Mazzino trying to buy him a couple of very precious seconds. Takes a look down towards That's water. Maybe considering left. clearing, and he does. Confidence being displayed. Lev fully in control here. And again, like the previous round, they need to get some sort of space going on. So they tap the spike. They're moving actually towards A. They're going to break the door down. They'll have an open sight. They don't know about it. They should move together. But right now, Benji peels off. It's all on Boo to get onto the site. Left. Okay, lucky enough, you get that. Now, Benji's timing could be perfect, or it could all be for nothing. You can see that Lev know there's a chance. And that's all that Aspas needs. As Boo, a 1v4. Hey, Icebox, he was good. 1v4 good? I, I don't know. They're already starting to clear through by door. Hello. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see where hard. the trouble happens. There's not a chance in hell. Lev, more often than not, they'd like to get cut off by the door, but this time around, you've got Tex maybe watching that. So I quite like this Wait, adjustment. Benji? Hold on, this is a problem. Benji, oh, Big. the reward is unbelievable. I thought Tex was holding that. This should be as instant speed up. Heretics never does this, though. They always pause and hesitate, and sometimes they miss their timings as a result of that. So it's on them to make a perfect decision here, move together in this mid-round, because Lev has done so, such a good job in some of these situations with gambling correctly, being in the right spot, and Tex on this regress. I mean, 
talk about feast or famine. Ooh. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Too many targets. A nice try, but it wasn't going to work out. They're going to at least have a good idea where Mazzino is, but it's calm. Uh, individual efforts aren't going to win you this round. No one able to bail them out. And Heretics? Looking to keep this ball moving, at least in their direction. This uh, We were talking about the timing before, how they don't do this too quickly. And I like Miniboo's second to pause, to wait, because then he gets a fight like that. But where's the trade? Where's the support? There's none. Com gets his way back in. Woot's in danger. That's a huge ult, wait. but Woot still somehow hits that shot. Benji couldn't crawl away in time as King claws him back. Now Rienz and Boo up against Tex and King. They've got to know where they evacuated to. This isn't ideal for the plant. They've got to try and deal with them here. Who are making a run? They yep. can get on this. Orb is on the spike. He can connect the smokes together and get in there, but the defuse is coming. There's no time. Surely there's no time here. Yeah, Tex knows oh, it. Wait. Ooh. He caught it. He got the defuse. <laughs> that was so close. Here comes the ult. TP to tree. And he sticks there. it. It's calm in the middle, though. This could be huge. If they don't Wait. clear this, he's on. Oh. Face your fear. Maybe a little bit of trigger discipline could have done him well there. But for now, the carpet's rolled out and the round is, is more than likely Heretics is here. Tex is still on the Guardian. Asmus unable to get towards that ult. That could have been very valuable. But for now, they found stability in a very late rotate there. Maybe taking back some of the tempo of this there. game, taking away Where that chaotic element. And it's not like Lev gonna take their foot off the gas, they can double down. And Wu's only good for one there. Trade comes out, and here comes the rocket right into Miniboo's chest. Leave it down to 4v3, and the Chaos looks so controlled in the hands of Wyvern. Until then, where the hell did Benji and Rienz just get those kills from? Overextended from Lev. Tex, one versus two. He has his camera to work with, but he's against Rienz and Benji, the closers of this team. Sure, Benji's not on his mainstay of Cypher, but with that turret up, the alarm bot, the mollies. Now his position's gonna get revealed. Yeah. Okay. He could double back if he needs to, but that camera's not gonna spot anybody. He has to get past this Viper wall as well. It's quite telling. At least they see no one, no challenge, but you know, they could be playing timings, they could be by tree. But to find both is difficult. And he's looking to try and clear towards tree first. Spams out again. Update on the progress. Another ping on the GPS, basically telling you where he is. And Tex is running out of time. Oh, and they just put him out of his misery more than anything. Back the flood. They're on the way though. And the blender Sold would have out. waited them. Look at the HP being dwindled down. Now, if they'd carried on, it would have been near on death. However, seconds. HP back up. They got a ward back in towards B. And you can see what Woot's trying to do. Tries to fall away. But now down to 10. Heretics being brought back down to the chaos. Eleven thriving in it. Plant should be. Wait, the spike wait. carrier okay. went down. Got time. They should be fine. One enemy I think. Remaining. Um, they're fine. Benji 1v4. <gasps> nah, Lev. They love that sort of chaos, Josh. They left that down to the. Although at the same time as this, Lev just using C as a little bit of a fake. They're going to probably oh. go through the revolving door, oh. but re ends. Oh. In case they needed a little bit of luck on their <laughs> side. Why not? And they're going to go on this. I think we're like that. Just instinctive play, smart approach, heads up, reactive, and it works wonders. Look at this guy, reigning supreme. Massive impact. The back of a blind shot that worked. Sometimes you get them. Now they get the plant too. Boo and Woot, irrelevant to this round. Converted bonus for Lev. A save from Team Heretics. Look how close he is. Earlier info on this C take, and we do have a play now posted beside Benji. But Aspas is in the door. How much can one man do? That's the start. He knows there's another. He flies on in. He sprays him down. Aspas ripping and tearing through Heretics. Can Mini Boo this, do the same back? Not right now. Has to peel away, but at least does some damage. Four versus three. Spike's still not planted, and Team Heretics inching up, looking like they want to take this fight early, but the stun's going to force them off. The plant's going to go down. Miniboo, can he stop the it? They're trying. The firing squad didn't land. Mazzino lives. Closing the gap. And actually, a TP towards sight. A good Luke's crossfire. He's got the paranoia. He's got the smoke in, too, but they've got four players here ready, posted on the site itself. They have no idea about this. They may know about one or two. Good paranoia could be everything. That's fantastic, but can they do the damage? The answer is absolutely and resoundingly no. Leviathan. Be going one versus five. His teammates way too far away to help him, and here comes the rolling thunder. Benji actually gets affected by it. And he goes down. Look at this player by player. They are dropping the site fully. 
waving the Leviathan flag here. No oh, way. Oh, come on. It's so clean. It's oh. so good. It is falling to pieces. The Heretics. If I'm their coach, if I'm the IGL, I'm, I'm calling another timeout if I got one, because this game is falling away from you. You thought you had a chance. You thought wrong. Boo, you gonna go for it? Waiting, maybe? Waiting for his team. Spike planted. We wait too long, we'll find out now. No, he reveals almost everything, barring one. They should have got at least four on that. And now they gotta go. Tex under scrutiny, Mini Boo removes. It's Benji on the follow up, and now Heretics hammering it home. Finally digging into this one, and King is killed. Heretics still in the game. Tex seems none the wiser so far. King is there as well. He hears that the three, 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 rattle, but it's Rianz to find Mazzino. And now the back line's under pressure. Gorm alleviates some towards the front, but down to a 3v3 now. It's Messi. Back line is King. The two players still on the side. Aspas and Kong, but they're removed, leaving just Aspas. The monster himself still stands, and that's what he could do, though. But they're on the defuse. I don't think he heard it. He's none the wiser. He has no idea. He has absolutely no idea the defuse was coming in. Slow opening as well. Lev doesn't want to run into oh. any traps in the same setup from last round. Team Heretics gets spammed. That's devastating, but so good for Lev. Cage triggered. Tech's going to be noted. And I quite like the mini boost trying to clear a little bit of space behind that, show a little bit of presence by Door, maybe dissuade this instant C lean. But will Lev even fall for that? They may not care. Look at ah, it. How Heretics oh, is scrambling off of this. They don't know what to do, where to go once they lose Woot there. It, they still need to play at that four versus five. Sure, they lose the smoke, they lose the paranoia. But right now, Lev has the sight. They're going to get that spike planted. And does Asper shut him up in time? He does. Taking down Mini Boo, leaving Rienz, who's a mile away. Unable to affect the outcome of this round. That was clean work from Lev, but again, that instantaneous loss. It felt like too much of a gamble. It was the exact same setup they ran from the previous round. It's going to be feeling battered and bruised and The stinger, oh. it's not enough. Trying to use the stinger up against North American teams. It ain't going to be working. Aspas, the pain shell, posted towards sight, but now he's going to be held back here. Heretic's looking to maybe clear some space over towards water, but the firing squad is waiting. Rienz, that's a lot of people. Wait. That's not bad, but is Benji going to fall? The number's still sitting in the hands of Lev. It's a 3v2. Mini Boo and Woot were the ones over towards A. They've got such a long way to go here. The post plant's going to be set up. The flank coming in from Woot. He does have a smoke. He does have paranoia, but they're spread apart. They need to win their isolated duels. Lev, they're such close together. They're ready to trade. They're ready to move together and pivot. Woot's going to be able to at least clear Mount. He knows they're not out here, but still, Mini Boo looking to be overwhelmed. They want to try and close down on this. Does Woot get noted as well? The time's starting to tick here. Have Leviathan done enough? Heretics starting to flounder, starting to falter. And this team was tailor-made for greatness. Bespoke brilliance from Leviathan. You thought it might have gone the distance in the veto.